Hello and welcome to the first of many video podcasts by myself, PJ professional Daniel Hartley. And welcome to what you can see behind me, the very sunny Costa del Sol, which is very famous for dozens of golf courses, which will challenge any golfer, including myself. Now, the reason for me starting this video podcast is I have given thousands and thousands of golf lessons in the past. And what I feel is some golfers and most golfers find it quite difficult to repeat the swing over and over again. Now, what I would like to do is almost start by working our way through fundamentals, starting with a couple of grip lessons and going through how I would teach it in a lesson. So let's dive in. Now, before I start to describe and explain how to grip the club correctly and what the hands do, first thing we've got to understand is what the club is designed to do. Now, the biggest misconception in golf is that this golf club stays straight. And the reason why that is the biggest misconception, especially to amateur golfers, is because in theory, the way the mind works is you want to hit the golf ball straight. What you will do is you'll try and keep this straight. Now, what you are doing is you are fighting against the club. You're fighting against something that's designed to help you. And the way that is designed to help you is because if I hold the club like this, the club will spin on its heel, okay? Now, which means is if you keep the club this way through the shot and through the swing, you are slowing the club down. Now, the way this golf club is designed to do and designed to work is open and close. So if this is the way the club is designed to do, we must then focus and have a good understanding of what these do. Now, yes, as you can see, I've drawn a few lines on my glove, which I'll explain shortly and a picture will come up on the screen of why in a second now if i to take the club out of the situation and leave the club on the floor these hands to create a golf swing that we can repeat and be a successful golfer will open like this and turn and then release through now a lot of golfers will understand this and relate to other sports you can think of a tennis forehand shot a table tennis shot or even a hockey shot where the hands come through, okay? And this twisting motion is called release. Now, what we want to do in the golf swing is we want to open the hands in the club and then release that golf club through. Now, Ben Hogan said in his Modern Fundamentals book, the key to a good golf swing is a good grip. Now, I couldn't agree more because the only contact we have got with that golf club is with these hands. Now, in terms of, we now understand what the golf club does. In terms of how we actually hold the club, the reason for me drawing these lines is we want the club to be sitting across the fingers here and the thumb to sit down the middle. Now, a couple of reference points for you here, guys, is we can have a V up and to the right shoulder here, and this club is sitting right in the fingers. Now, as you can see on screen, I've taken a picture of the glove. We've got the lines here and the cross here. One of the biggest mistakes in the golf swing, guys, is that the grip sits in the palm, which automatically then disables the wrist, causing the golf club to stay straight. So even though the biggest misconception is the golf club stays straight, if we are gripping that club wrong, we can't turn the wrist back and we can't turn the wrist through. So straight away, if we're gripping it wrong, the golf swing is very difficult to start off with. So if we grip the club in the fingers here and place the thumb down the middle, just using this left hand now, what you can see is I twist the club back. You can see the back of my glove. You can see the front of my watch. And then I twist the club through. So a good way of now introducing the right hand is again, it sits in the fingers and the hand sits on top. And now this V, goes right towards my chin or the center of my body. Now, we want these hands to work together. We don't want these hands to be separate. So the grip that I find most comfortable and which allows less faults in the golf swing is that of the overlap. Now, some golfers prefer the interlock and some golfers prefer the baseball grip. But what I found through the tuition that I've done over the years is that if you have an overlap grip, less faults can come in. So if we 
have the interlock grip we can find we can get quite stuck underneath here if we have a baseball grip we can find we get stuck over the top here and what this does is this causes faults in the golf swing now what's key from here is that we understand that we twist the hands open and from down the line here you can see that this golf club and from the front angle here has opened up and you can now see my watch and then as i come through and release that club you can see the back of the club the inside of my wrist or the opposite side of my right hand the back of my right hand so as i'm hitting golf shots what we want to do is take away the hitting element and just open and close now the one thing I want you to understand is if I grip the club correctly and do the wrong motion with my hands, i.e. keep everything straight, everything starts to fail, tension goes up my arms, and then it collapses up here. Now, if I do the simple thing of gripping it correctly in the fingers, as I explained before, twisting my hands round, all of a sudden I get a nice, solid backswing, and then as I come through, I release the hands round, and it allows me to swing the club nice and smooth and consistently now what this will do this will allow any golfer to achieve a consistent strike but also understand direction now there's nothing more frustrating and nothing worse than hitting golf shot after golf shot after golf shot and it going off to the right off to the left or in any other direction now if you're hitting shot after shot now what i would advise is for the first 10 to 15 balls is hitting off a tee purely and simply because if this is new to you what we don't want to do is we want to don't want to make it more difficult so if we grip the club in the fingers and in the palm there we go and away from the palm as you can see i've got this cross here which is visible if i grip it in the palm it's no longer visible so i'll bring that image on the screen again of the fingers here and the cross there grip it in the fingers there and then in terms of tension we want to be nice and relaxed if we're too tight and we're too tense we cannot hit this golf ball if i'm nice and relaxed i'll give an example shot here it's opening the club and closing the club through so that is a nice simple easy drill for you to open the club close the club open the hands close the hands really get yourself working through and working these hands because what this will al allow you to do naturally is release that golf club and get the club working for you instead of against you okay guys thank you for tuning in really good lesson there this is how i would teach anyone in terms of coming to a first lesson and getting them to understand the grip now stay tuned in the next couple of weeks i'm going to be moving on to stance and posture another key fundamental to becoming a consistent golfer and improving your game now hit the subscribe button like comment and share just to receive the updates for when i do do the next video and thank you very much for tuning in